Hello friends, this video on integrals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Till now, we know that integration of cos x is sin x plus constant. Integration of sin x is minus cos x plus constant. But we don't know integration of tan x integration of cortex, integration of sec x, integration of cos x. And these things, there will be no differentiation of all these, but we don't know integration of all these. Correct? Because we don't know a uh, uh, function for which differentiation is all these. We know function for which differentiation is cos x, that is sin x. We know function for which differentiation is sin x, that is minus cos x. So we know these two. These two we know by reverse differentiation. But these values we don't know. What is the integration of tan x, cot x, sec x, cos x. And these values are little critical because tan x, cot x, sec x, cos x are very widely used trigonometric functions. So we should know integration of all this. So how to find integration? Let's try. Let's try to find the integration of all this using substitution method only. So once we have these values readily available in the complex problems will directly use the results instead of finding every time. But let's try to derive this at least first. What is the integration of tan, cot, sec and cosec? So start with tan x. Tan x I can write as nothing but sin x by cosec. Why am I like doing like this? Because sin and cos is something which I know. Other thing I don't know. Now in this case, if you observe carefully, if I assume cos x as t, if I assume cos x as t, I get minus sin x dx as dt. So here if you see sin x dx is a term here. I can replace this guy with t. So this guy I can write sin x dx is nothing but minus dt now. Minus dt by and cos x is t. So if you see this equation is a very simple equation now. I converted this complex equation now because I don't know the value of tan x dx so for me it's complex now into a simpler equation dt by d. So this becomes nothing but minus of log t plus some constant and t is nothing but cos x this becomes minus of log cos x plus c and that is my integration of tan x. Very simple. Just by observation, I knew if I take sin x st, what will happen? So let us assume sin x st, then I'll get cos x dx sd. But my cos x dx is not there. It's a waste for me. So if I take sin x st, it is not going to help me to reduce this equation to a simpler equation. Because the reason why I'm using substitution is we want to reduce a complex to simpler. But in this case, if I assume sin x as t, my equation will not be reduced to a simpler equation. So I will not take that. But if I take cos x as t, my equation is reduced to a simpler equation and I got get this. Let's find the value for cot x. Cot x again will write as cos x by sin x. Here we will take sin x as t. Why? Because if you take sin x is equal to t you get cos x dx as dt and this guy has cos x dx. So this equation will be cos x dx as dt and sin x is equal to t. So this is nothing but log t. Right? A simple equation. And this is nothing but t is nothing but uh, uh, sin x here. So it will be log of mod sin x plus cos. But now in this case, if I assume cos x as t, so if I assume here in this case cos x as t, I get minus sin x dx as dt, but I don't have minus sin x dx form. So I, this type of uh, a substitution is a waste for me. So I should use this substitution only. And I'll get a simpler equation, this a simpler integral, and with this I get the cot x as log of sin x plus. Similarly, let's find uh, integration of sec x. Finding this is a little tricky actually, I'll tell you why. Sec x is nothing but 1 by cos x. 
right is nothing but integration of 1 by cos x dx uh, if we substitute also cos x is t i'll get sin x here so it'll be difficult for me to find the value let's try this if i take cos x is t i get minus sin x dx is equal to dt so this i'm not able to use because i have dx term i don't have minus sin x dx correct even if i let's try to use this because i don't have any option now i get dx is nothing but minus dt by sin x so let's do this this becomes minus dt by sin x into t and my t is cos x sin x again write as root 1 minus cos square so this becomes dt into root 1 minus cos square x into t and that is nothing but minus dt into root 1 minus t square into t. so what i'm seeing is it's making all is becoming all the more complex i try to simplify it but this is becoming all the more complex so this approach is not going to work for me why because my uh, integral is becoming all the more complex t root of 1 minus t square being all the more complex one and i don't want this kind of complex what should I do? Here, let's multiply and divide this guy sec x plus tan x and sec x plus. Now you'll ask me how you got this. Actually, it is very difficult actually because just going by this sec x, it's very difficult to visualize that we have to multiply and divide with sec x and tan x. The reason why I know that because I have seen the answer for this, to be very frank. Because with this, it's very difficult to visualize that you have to multiply and divide the sec x plus tan x. But this is something which you have to learn because sec x and cos sec x is the only two integral where we have to do this. And if you solve more questions like this, you will understand why I am doing this. I'll tell you why. Because sec x plus tan x, if I take sec x plus tan x as t, so if I differentiate both sides, this guy sec x become sec x tan x, tan x become sec square x, and whole thing dx is equal to dt. What is the value of in this? If I take sec x common, this is nothing but tan x plus sec x dt dx is equal to dt. Correct. So what you have seen here is, if I do like this, this whole thing is my numerator, sec x into tan x plus sec x dx. So this guy becomes dt here, and this guy is t. So my equation is simple now. If you see, just by multiplying and divide, dividing, my equation is simple now. So this is the tip which you have to learn actually. So when you have only cos sec x or sec x, you can multiply and divide with sec x plus tan x. In the cos x will multiply and divide with cos x plus cos x because these things is nothing but part of dx. So my equation is very simple now: log t plus some constant, and t is my sec x plus tan x. So I write here log of mod of sec x plus tan x plus cos. Please note it is a mod. You have to take the positive value, and that is the answer. Why positive? Because log will always take positive values only. So better you can memorize this actually because this is very difficult to think that you have to multiply with sec x tan x. You can, uh, this is a special case, you can memorize this for sec x and cos x. I'll solve the same thing for cos x, almost same. Because here also if you take, uh, if you convert this into 1 by sin x and if you take sin x as t, you'll get a complex equation. You won't be able to uh, solve it further. So better here also what we'll do, we'll multiply and divide with cos x plus cot x. And why we are doing this is, why we are doing this is because if you take cos x plus cot x as t, cos x if you integrate, differentiate you get minus cos x cot x and cot x becomes minus 
cos x square x and the whole thing is dx is equal to dx and this is nothing but minus of cos x into cos x plus cot x dx so if you see this guy is almost here in the limiter so this guy becomes cos x x in, into cos x plus cot x is nothing but into dx is nothing but minus dt why because this is minus here it becomes minus dt by t integral there is nothing but minus log e mod and there is nothing but minus log t is cos x plus cot x and plus and constant and that is my answer and if you want to remove the minus sign what we can do is we can find log of something 1 by this so this is nothing but literally what I am doing is cos x plus cot x I will multiply and divide with cos x minus cot x why we got cos x square x minus cot square x is 1 cos x minus x. correct so this becomes minus log of cos x square x minus cot square x by cos x, x minus cot x and this is nothing but minus of log of 1 minus cos x minus cot x so with this you see the minus sign will go how this will become log of cos x minus plus some constant anyway will be there. So what I have done is just to remove the minus sign what I did was I knew cos x square minus cot square x was 1 so I multiplied divide this by cos x minus cot x and I got this this is nothing but uh, you remove minus sign why because it's nothing but minus log 1 minus of this so minus minus become plus and you get this correct. So with this to this is simple actually I'll show you how for example I have minus log of 1 by k this is nothing but minus log 1 minus I'll take out minus log k actually log 1 here and log 1 is 0 that is minus of 0 minus log k and minus minus become positive this becomes log k. So similar approach is used here to get this guy as this guy. Here, the whole thing is k. That's how it is used. So, you derive all these formulas. Let's uh, memorize this. Integration sin x dx is minus cos x, we know. Integration of cos x is sin x. Integration of tan x is log of sec x. Integration of cot x is log of sin x. Integration of sec x is log of sec x plus tan x. Integration of cos x is log of cos x plus minus cot x. These formulas are must be remembered. Please remember all these formulas because these formulas will be used in lot of places to solve integral. Sin x becomes minus cos x, cos x becomes sin x, tan x becomes log of sec x, cot x becomes log of sin x, sec x becomes log of sec x plus tan x, cos x becomes log of cos x x minus Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.